हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरुमंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई वॉर्मली वेलकम यू एट आर यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन यू ऑल आर गुड योर स्टडीज आर गोइंग इन अ स्मूथ मैनर एंड यू ऑल आर डूइंग योर रिविजन ऑन डेली बेसिस सो गाइज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द टॉपिक केमिकल काइनेटिक्स and in today's lecture we are going to study about thermodynamics before starting the topic i would like to tell you about the syllabus that we have covered till now till now we have covered structure of atom periodicity s block p block coordination compound electrochemistry as well as chemical kinetics so without any further delay let's begin our today's topic that is thermodynamics so what is thermodynamics thermodynamics is a branch of science which deals with the quantitative relationship between heat and other form of energy so in this topic you are going to study about the relationship between heat and other forms of energy okay this is about the term thermodynamics if you talk about the chemical thermodynamics this chemical thermodynamics is the branch of thermodynamics which deals with the study of presence in which the chemical changes involved now if you are talking about chemical thermodynamics this chemical thermodynamic is concerned with the following question number one question is when two or more substances are put together will they react or not second question can be arise if they do react what energy changes will be associated with the reaction and third question is if a reaction occurs at what concentration of the reactant and their product will be equilibrium okay now the important terms used in the thermodynamics number one term is system what is a system a system is basically defined as the specific part of universe or the specified portion of the matter which is under experimental investigation in which system can be defined as the part where we are going to do our experiment where we are going to perform our experiment next term is surrounding the rest part of the universe other than the system is called surrounding and we are never interested in the surrounding our main focus our study is only based on or we can say only restricted to the system why because in the part of system we are going to perform our experiment third point is third term is boundary anything that separates the system and surrounding is known as boundary let's take an example to understand the system surrounding and boundary a reaction is carried out in a beaker okay the content of beaker constitutes this system the matter the substance which is present inside the empty beaker is your system and the beaker serves as the boundary and the anything that is outside the boundary or outside the system is your surrounding so this is about the three terms that is system surrounding and boundary and in thermodynamics we are going to study about the system now types of system the types of system are classified into two ways number 1 is on the basis of exchange of energy and matter so on that basis number 1 type of system is open system this type of system can exchange energy as well as matter with the surrounding the boundary is not sealed and not insulated in case of open system second type of system is closed system this type of system can exchange energy in the form of heat work or radiations but not matter with its surrounding okay 
द बाउंड्री बिटवीन सिस्टम एंड इट्स सराउंडिंग इज सील्ड बट नॉट इंसुलेटेड थर्ड टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम इज आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम दिस टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम आर परफेक्टली आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम एंड कैन नॉट इंटरेक्ट इन एनी वे विद इट्स सराउंडिंग दैट इज neither matter nor energy can be exchanged with the surrounding this type of system neither exchanges energy nor matter okay this was based on the exchange of energy and matter now second basis is on the basis of composition a system is said to be homogeneous when it is completely uniform throughout homo means same so basically in a homogeneous system it is made up of only one phase example a pure single solid liquid or gas etc second is heterogeneous system hetero means different means in heterogeneous system you will get different phases in a particular system a system is said to be heterogeneous when it is not uniform throughout it that is it consists of two or more phases example ice in contact with water okay so these were the two bases on which the system can be classified number one was on the basis of exchange in energy and matter and second is on the basis of composition now some important terms or you can say some important thermodynamic properties number one property is extensive property the properties of system whose magnitude depends upon the quantity of matter that property whose magnitude depends upon the quantity of matter present in a system is known as extensive properties okay for example volume weight energy enthalpy entropy all are the extensive properties and you have to memorize this point extensive properties magnitude depends upon the quantity of matter present in the system okay second is intensive property what is intensive property the properties of the system which do not depends upon the quantity of matter present in the system or the size of system they are known as intensive property for example melting point boiling point viscosity refractive index density and concentration all are the example of intensive properties if you take 1 g salt or 1 kg salt melting point of nacl melting point of salt is never going to be changed is never going to be changed this will remain same that is 1081 kelvin okay so this is an example of intensive property now some important points these two points are really very important question can be asked directly from this point okay the point says extensive properties can change into intensive properties when divided to make per unit quantity extensive properties are interchangeable properties these extensive property can change into intensive properties when divided to make per unit quantity for example volume and weight are extensive property okay but mass of unit volume that is your density as you know density is equals to mass per unit volume mass divided by volume and this density is intensive property so from this point you can conclude if you are dividing two extensive properties by dividing two kinds of extensive property what you will get you will get and incentive property so this is very important point so density is your intensive property okay now state of the system when the fundamental properties such as pressure temperature volume the system is said to be in any definite state when there is change in any one of these property it is said that the system has undergone a change of state and these states can be of two type 
Number one is state function or state variable and number two is path function. Now what is state function or what is state variable? So basically fundamental properties which determines the state of system are referred to as state variables. The change in state properties depend only upon the initial and final state of the system. But it is independent of the manner in which the change has been brought about. Okay, so these two points are very important in case of state function. That is, this in case of state function, this property only depends upon the initial and final state of system. But it is independent of the manner in which the change has been bought. But in case of path function, if the change in fundamental properties depends upon the initial and final state as well as the manner in which the change has been bought about, it is known as path function. An example of path function is your work and heat. You have to remember, you have to memorize these points that the example of path function is work and heat. Now, about work and heat. What is work and what is heat? If you talk about work, work is the product of force and displacement. You know it very well. Work is denoted by W, force is denoted by F and displacement is denoted by L or small s. So W is equals to F into L or you can say W is equals to F into S. Okay, this is about work. To calculate the work in chemistry, let's take an example. Consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder fitted with a frictionless piston. Suppose area of section of cylinder is small a and pressure on the piston is p. Initial volume is v1 and final volume is v2. And by expansion displacement of piston is small l. Okay. Now work done by the gas in expansion. That will be your w is equals to f into L. And also you know it very well pressure is equals to force per unit area. That's why you have written P is equals to F by A. By interchanging the values you will get F is equals to P into A. And W is equals to P into A into L. That is change in volume. You know it very well A into L area into displacement you will get V2 minus V1 that is your change in volume that can be denoted by symbol delta V. So you will get W is equals to P into delta V according to physics. But in general according to chemistry what you will write you will write W is equals to minus P delta V. So this is very important. We have to learn this W is equals to P delta V. This formula will help us to solve many questions in chemistry, in thermodynamics. Okay, this was about work. Now what is heat? Heat may be defined as the quantity of energy which flows between a system and its surrounding on account of temperature difference. When there is any temperature difference, you can conclude heat may be heat is associated with the system. Heat always flows from high temperature to low temperature. When you talk about heat is flowing into the system, you will take small q that is the denotation of heat will be positive. When small q that is heat is flowing out of the system, heat will be taken as negative okay now units of heat and work that is calorie and one calorie is defined as the quantity of heat that is required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree celsius now these four points are the conversion units that will help you to solve many numerical problem so you have to learn these all these numeric all these conversion units 
Okay, most important is your one calorie. In one calorie, there are 4.2 joules present. Okay, and the important order that is one liter atmosphere is always greater than one calorie, then one joule, then one arc. Okay, so you have to memorize all these points. Now, in case if you are new here at our YouTube channel, please do like, share and subscribe. If you have any query, you can mail us or contact us. Information is given on the screen. Now, a very important announcement. If you are preparing for CSIR UGC NET, you can follow Neha Taneja Ma'am on an academy platform. On an academy platform, Neha Taneja Ma'am is the best educator. And on an academy, you will get daily life classes, structural courses, life tests and quizzes. And one with, and with one subscription, you will get unlimited access. If you are interested, you can go through with this detailed paid classes. After taking these detailed paid classes, you can use referral code NEHA, that is N-E-H-A. And after using this referral code, you will get 10% discount on total fee. Thank you very much guys. I hope you all like the video.